Hey everyone, Joe Brady here to talk a little bit about some audio gear today. What I've got with me is the Tascam DR05 portable audio recorder. This is great for both music and voice. For those of you that are photographers that want better audio for your videos, it's small size and high quality stereo mics make for great sound compared to anything your camera can record. Now I'm just using my camera's audio right now and I'm, I'm sure while it's okay, it's not great. What I'm going to do is start recording on this unit as well. As a photographer, you may not have mic stands around, but you sure as heck have light stands. This unit has a little threaded socket on the bottom that is perfectly designed for going to a light stand. I've got this here. I'm just going to hit the record button, and I'm just going to place it just out of the camera so that I can record my audio here. Before you do anything else, you need to have something to sync your audio together when you bring it to software. Now, you've probably seen those slates where they clap them. Well, that's what that's for. That's actually what creates a spike. If you don't have a slate, well, here's an easy way to do it. One, two, three. Okay, there's my sync. So now I'll have a spike in my audio recorder, a spike on the reference audio that the camera is recording, and when I bring them into my audio editing software, my video editing software, which happens to be Adobe Premiere, I'll see right in the waveform that big, strong spike. Line them up, and all your audio works. This unit uses two AA batteries. It'll give you about 17 hours of recording time. It's got two built-in microphones that are set in an A-B way. There's lots of people that know a lot more about audio engineering than I do. I just know that this works really well. It also has a USB port, which is for data transfer, or you can plug in an external battery into that. Now, for you musicians, the DR05 has a variable speed playback feature. What, the, what does that mean? Something really cool for anybody that's tried to learn a solo off of a record. You can play uh, an audio file through here at half speed or anywhere for actually anywhere from half to 150 percent what that allows you to do is to learn the the solo because it doesn't change the pitch it slows down the audio so that you can hear the notes happening one by one but in the right pitch it's a great way to learn solos for you guitarists out there it also has a built-in uh, chromatic tuner as we've seen it's got a tripod socket hole it will take micro SD or SDHC cards with a capacity up to 32 gigabytes. It's a great inexpensive way to record external audio to replace the audio that your camera records. So what do you do if having your recorder on a light stand or a mic stand is not really something that's going to work? Uh, it's going to be in the scene, your subject's going to be moving around. Well, another option for you is to just plug in a lav lapel mic to this. I've got a lapel mic here, this one that's uh, hooked up to my shirt, and what I can do is just plug it into the top of the DR05. There's a receptacle stereo 1 8 inch plug right here. I plug that in and now I am recording off of this mic. So if I walk around, if I go out of scene, if I come way over here, it doesn't matter because the distance of the mic to me is not changing. This is a nice option. I can just take the entire unit and just put it in my back pocket and let it do its recording. However, whenever possible, I do like to use the, the unit live. Uh, I do like putting it on a light stand or I do have a mic stand for it so that I can keep it close and just out of frame. So if I have this unit just out of frame over here, a couple feet away, the quality of the audio is still great compared to, again, one more time, let's hear what the camera's recording. I'll cut this. Here's the camera's audio. Not very good compared to what we're hearing. I much prefer this. So. This is a great option for you, Tascam DRO5 Stereo Audio Recorder.